Uh, we're aware of a phenomenon uh, that much of the heroin that comes into the uh, European Union is uh, passing through transiting Pakistan, uh, coming from Afghanistan. We believe that uh, Parcel Post is being used to exploit uh, our borders and bring heroin into these countries. And so we're working together to try and coordinate activity uh, and, and ensure that we're stopping these criminals using that route to bring small amounts of heroin that are then uh, collected together to make larger amounts and, uh, and uh, affecting our society with the blight of uh, heroin. Well, as the Netherlands, we're a member state in the Organised Property Crime uh, MPEC programme. Countries are working together, are participating, and especially on those two days, we have a focus on burglaries and fencing all over Europe. Counterfeit medicines, a counterfeit food product, pose a serious threat to public health. Italy, as a driver, is proud to act and to stimulate other EU countries to cooperate and to work together to tackle this serious crime phenomenon. So far we have uh, had some major results, so we would like to keep on developing this kind of approach. Uh, we organize block factions and we are leading some of them, um, both uh, corps in Spain, national police and Guardia Civil and also customs. We are involved in this organization and uh, under the umbrella of SICO is a center of coordination and of course the Ministry of Interior. At national level, uh, the Ministry of Interior uh, coordinates uh, all the work of uh, national law enforcement agencies, uh, what is the uh, national police and also DADA. And uh, we are uh, working to build a close uh, relationship with uh, other countries and third parties. It's a great chance for Italy as driver in the priority counterfeit goods to face the emerging challenges that affect the European Union economy and safety. And the EU policy cycle is a very useful approach for European Union to identify the threats from the organized crime and to prioritize the needs 